Hi everyone. Now we will learn in Laravel how we can get and display data from MySQL table. So in last part we insert the data in MySQL table and uh, we will continue from there only. So in last part we used student table to insert data and now we will fetch and display the data from this table only. All right. So now let's talk about points. So first we will create a view file route and controller function. There we don't need to create a new controller. We will just create a a uh, function in the controller file after that we will fetch data from mysql table display it on the ui we'll test it and at last we'll discuss some important interview question also this is the playlist for laravel 11 tutorials and that will definitely help you out for laravel project interviews and job you can access this playlist from description box of this part so first let's go to the terminal and create a view so let me just stop this uh, php artisan, artisan server and create one more view make view and view name you can put anything i would like to put their list student because in last part whenever when we are uh, inserting the students data that time we put the view name is add student so similarly now we will put their list student because there we are displaying the list of students right so hit enter and now if you go to the code in the resources and view you will find that we have one more new file so let me add there one h1 tag and inside this you can just put any heading let me just add there student list or something all right so the next thing uh, where we are getting this data obviously in the controller function so let me create one more function inside our controller so function name is list uh, even if you want then you can say that student list or uh, student data whatever you want to say i will just make this function list now let's take a variable student and uh, like in last part uh, whenever we are adding the data we created the instance of the student table now we don't need to create a instance you can just directly use student and there is a all function all means we want to fetch the data uh, which is all data which is available in the student table students table right because our model name is student there, student there but our table name is uh, students all right so after that if you just return there let me just show you if we can return then you will see uh, this data is uh, available in the uh, you can see that this function uh, but in the json format and for that we need to create uh, one uh, router also so let's go to the web.php and then create one more router there so if you want then you can copy this function this previous router and change it but i would like to just create new route there by myself then list will be the url for this route and then you can say that student list colon colon class and in the second one we can say that uh, let's say just mention the list because this is a function that we want to use with this route all right and now let's start your php artisan server again php artisan serve and now let's access this okay see so this data is coming from the previous part uh, because before uh, making this video i was just uh, uh, testing it right so if i just put their list you can see that we are getting the data but this is in the json format right so the function all uh, let me show you the, this all function as i told you is responsible to fetch the old data from the database now the thing is uh, we have to display this data on the view so first let's render the view there render view and uh, there uh, what we can do there let's, let's put the uh, view name student list student and now uh, let's put semicolon at the last refresh it now you can see that we are able to see that but the next thing is we can pass this student let me just change this name student data because there are multiple data right and let's create an array and the key of array will be students and now let's use this variable student data so now if you will just students this was the key there but if inside the list student blade dot php if you will print this print out this print r then you will see uh, and it should be used with the dollar only only then it will work you can see that we have the old data there 
like uh, this email id there you can see that right and dates and everything peter and everything is uh, there so we have to display in the table now so what do we need to do you can remove this i just want to show you like we have the old data in this student variable just use their table and uh, i will request you to just use their css rather than uh, simply uh, table right so you can use the uh, ul li or something because my job is to just uh, teach you the laravel not css and all specifically in this course so that's why i want to uh, consume minimum time in this video so that you can learn more things so that's why i'm just not using css and all right so let me just use their border property with one and now let's take tr inside this let's put td and uh, name of the headers that we want to use let me use three more email phone number and last one is let's say created at i want to show you like whenever when this data was created and you will just see now you can see that header is there but similarly we have to create a you have to fetch the data from this uh, students variable which is available in this file so now use at the rate for each and their dollar students as student dollar student inside this we can use this tr and at the last just use there and for each and now you will see because this is a static data we are putting so this is rendered four time because we have the four data so now if you simply use their dollar student not students you have to use this one student then name you will see name is dynamic now and other things are still static so just copy it paste there there and last one there also so now use email uh, phone and last one is created underscore at and there you go we have the old data so there we are storing only date not name uh, not time so that's why the time is zero so if you want to change this format we can uh, i'll let you know how we can change this format in upcoming parts so the thing is now what i want whenever we are adding new data the list should be uh, after adding the data this list should be displayed there so what we can do there now uh, if student is added right then we can return just echo this even we don't need to uh, echo there just return redirect mm redirect and there your route name which is list so if i add simply uh, localhost and if i just add their new data let me just go to the add url and the new person is let's say batman then email id is bat at the rate test.com and uh, email id phone number is let's say one two three four five just something if I just click on the student first it will insert this data and then it will be redacted to the list so let's see if this is working here you can see that bat is uh, added at the last so that's all for this part if you still have any confusion doubt you can ask me in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in the comment section thank you guys